Hi, I'm Chech Chester Rich, your host for the Place Value Olympics. Today's a special episode of the kids versus the coach. Our contestants will compete for points with ones units, tens rods, and hundreds plates. There'll be five events. Let's go to our first event, bowling, where Coach Bill is waiting. Hello there, how you doing? For the first competition, we're gonna do bowling. I'll be playing Mari with the referee in charge, Melody. Let's go bowl. This is nine pin bowling. One more than eight, one less than 10. Watch Coach Bill as I knock them all down. But up first will be Mari. Ah. Nice boss. Where'd it go? Did I get a strike? I'm too powerful. I think I threw it over the trees. <laughs> no, Bill, you didn't throw it over the trees. You threw it behind you, and therefore you get zero points. But Mari bowled a strike, knocking down all nine ones units. So the kids are on the board with nine points. Let's go to our second event, the hurdle competition. Welcome to the hurdle competition, which is made up of tens rods. There are four of them for a total of 40 points. At the end, there are some ones cubes, six of them for an additional six points for a total of 46 points. Let's meet our competitors. First up, Harper. I'm gonna do my best. Go. Wow, she cleared all the hurdles. Go. So you're still at zero. Harper, on the other hand, cleared all four tens rods and the six ones units to give her 46 points. Notice in the ones column, we can take 10 of those ones units and make a tens rod and slide it over, bringing the kids total to 55. Let's now go to our third competition, fencing. We are here with our tens rods today and we every hit is 10 points. That's right, Rap, and remember kids, when you're doing a contact sport, make sure you put on your safety equipment. Plus, I want to set a good example for the kid. This little darling here is probably not going to get me. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, now I see her. Time out. OK. That was a practice round. I win. I did it. Way to use your head, Coach Bill. <laughs> Looks like the coach underestimated Georgia, and it cost him 60 points. Looking at the kids, tens column, we can take 10 of those tens rods and make a hundreds plate. When we move that over, the kids total is now a big 115 with Coach Bill still at zero. Looks like he has some catching up to do with only two events left. Let's now go to the long jump where the referee, Mrs. Redans, will explain how the scoring will work. Jump! Here's how we'll mark it. For example, if the jumper lands here, I'll put the cone down and we'll count 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33. The jumper would get 33 points. Coach Bill, I'm surprised to see you back. Well, you know, I got a good feeling about the long jump. I mean, come on, look how long my legs are compared to the child's. How could it go wrong? I don't know. <laughs> hey. 20, 30. All the way through, kid. Big jump, big jump. Uh-oh, these kids are jumping pretty far. Let's mark it. Good jump, kid. Good jump. Come on. <laughs> mark it. How'd I do? You cleared the course. Oh, that's good. I finally got a win. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Coach Bill literally just tripped his way to 38 points because he cleared the whole course of all three tens rods and the eight ones units, finally putting them on the board.
but he still has a long way to go to catch the kids with only one event left. And that's the Water Blaster Target Competition run by Coach K of Power 3 Athletics. Welcome to our Water Blast Competition. Our two contestants will each get two shots at our ones, our tens, and our hundreds. Let's meet our contestants. Coach Bill, you've had a tough outing. This is the last chance. What you got to say? No words necessary. I'm going to let my actions speak for me. That's good for me. And Carter. Actually, uh, I just remembered. I'm going to be the champ. What? Oh, sorry. So, Carter, how do you feel? One more thing. You got to work hard. Never mind. Sorry. Zip it. You want to finish? No, I'm done. Okay. And Carter, how do you feel? I just remembered. Watch my comeback right now. And Carter, how do you feel about the competition? I'm going to blast these targets down. That's what I like to hear. All right, Carter, you're up. Hey, he blocked my shot. Didn't see a thing, ref. Right, take another try at it, Carter. Hey, he blocked it again. Oh, what? Everything's good over here, ref. We're good. He missed. Whoa, what an unexpected turn of events. Coach Bill is cheated and didn't get caught, which means he only needs one hundreds plate to win the whole competition. All right, Coach Bill, you've had a tough go. All you need is a hundred to take the competition. Piece of cake. Watch old Eagle Eye Bill take the victory as predicted. Aim. Oh, 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 oh. oh no. <laughs> Hey, Coach, are you okay? Are you okay? Got a little water in the ice. Are you, are you okay, Mike? Yeah, I got this. Don't worry. One more shot. Just need 100. Come on, Bill. Feel the force. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. I'm rinsing water with water here. Oh, I got one more, Mr. K. No, that's it. Oh, oh my goodness. I should have practiced more. Ooh. Yes, Bill. You probably should have practiced. And you definitely should not have cheated. All right, this is Chech Chesterich signing off. See you next time on The Place Value Olympics.